Two nights ago involving a shooting in Houston's Midtown that left one person dead, three others wounded. Tonight and only on two, Devin Clark speaking to one of the innocent victims who was hit by a stray bullet. Midtown get dangerous. The man you're about to hear from says everything seemed normal here in Midtown around 6 o'clock Monday evening, but within the blink of an eye, all of that changed. By the time he realized danger growing just inches away, it was too late. I was just in the right place at the wrong time. It could happen to anybody. Marcellius Jefferson says while waiting here on Gray Street to meet up with the mother of his daughter Monday, he got caught up in a violent confrontation between two men he'd never seen before. I saw him cross the street because he had his hand folded. And then he was talking to a dude like this here. He said, uh, what's up now? Remember me? And the shots just ran out. Because of an accident four years ago that left him without a knee, That's Jefferson it. says he had no oh, choice but shit. to freeze in place as the shooter's target ran right in front of him. I was sitting on the walk and I can't run. He says at first he didn't even know he had been shot. Finally got enough strength to make it to my car, which is across the street. And that's when I felt the blood running down my leg. Jefferson says he was able to get help from a nearby officer who applied pressure to his wound until paramedics arrived. Meanwhile, the 62-year-old man who was said to have shot and wounded Jefferson, as well as his intended target, didn't make it far. Somebody down there shot him and killed him. Houston police released this image of the man Look at his face. The second shooter. They're not sure why he got involved, but say in the process of him killing the original shooter, he also struck a rideshare driver who happened to okay so 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 this guy's sitting at the bus stop two guys get into an argument one guy shoots at the other guy hits him that guy who hit him goes down the street and then gets shot by this guy who wasn't even in the original incident this guy shoots the first shooter and also hits an Uber driver who was just driving down the street. You got two different shootings, and both shooters hit innocent people. In broad daylight. In broad daylight. We're different, man. We're different. Show me the videos of white people running around doing this. Where all the videos of white people running around doing this? We got a video of a white guy choking a black guy. So you can't say they won't, they hide white people. No, they don't. It's so on when, when white people do it, it's actually the opposite. They don't hide it. They fucking proliferate it. Where's white people running around doing shit like this? Their driver who happened to be in the area as the victims worked to even know he had been shot. Finally got enough strength to make it to my car, which is across the street. And that's when I felt the blood running down my leg. Jefferson says he was able to get help from a nearby officer who applied pressure to his wound until paramedics arrived. Meanwhile, the 62-year-old man who was said to have shot and wounded Jefferson, as well as his intended target, didn't make it far. Somebody down there shot him and killed him. Houston police released this image of the man said to be that second shooter. They're not sure why he got involved, but say in the process of him killing the original shooter, he also struck a rideshare driver who happened to be in the area. As the victims work to recover, Jefferson is acknowledging his faith. I talk to God every day. Like I said, it's a freak accident. Jefferson says he's going to have to live for the rest of his life with that bullet in his hip because it's so far in his bones, doctors can't do surgery to remove it. He has set up a GoFundMe to help with ongoing medical expenses. Now, as for that second shooter who allegedly killed the first shooter and ended another innocent bystander, he's wanted for questioning. If anyone knows where he is, you're asked to call HPD or... Wow. <laughs> and that was the smile. That smile on his face was like, yeah, I just let my motherfucker switch to go, nigga. I just got my man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're different, man. We're different. Just a different group of people, man. There's no... You can't... You just can't, like... um, a, You can't account for us. You can't account for... Oh, my God. Well, Tonight, I would stand up and show my you can't south. compete shirt, but that's, I'm wearing the, you can't, uh, if you can hear it, we can hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
definitely definitely get your you if you can hear it we can hear it sure it's on the op nation merch store salute tonight uncertainty looms across south memphis i really don't know how to feel after 11 year old boy was hit by a stray bullet outside of a home on michigan street wednesday night the child's father told memphis police that his son was picking up trash in the front yard when something fell from a tree causing his head to hurt after further inspection they determined it was a bullet after it fell out of his hoodie, leaving neighbors stunned by the discovery. We living in the last days, and it's hard enough as it is, but just to know about some things that's happening and you don't have control over it, it hurts. A spokesperson with MPD tells WREG the bullet did not penetrate the boy's head, but he was taken to La Bonne Children's Hospital to be checked out. As for the criminal investigation, police have not determined where the bullet came from. Neighbors told detectives... It's just bullets flying all over the place in Blackestan. Like, come on, man. If the bullet landed and hit him in the head, it was non-ballistic. It had been tumbling so that it was it lost all its momentum. So all it is is just a falling object at that point. Just... We're different. We live a different existence than other people. Other people, other groups of people, I think they feel sorry for us, man. I think that had to be a sorry. that had to be shot within, you know, five degrees of vertical in order to not have any ballistic energy coming down. Hmm. They feel sorry for us, man. Other people feel sorry for us, man. And then they're like, man, look at them. They, they, just look at them. They can't. They can't get out of their own way. Just all that, all that caping for some criminals. Some of that shit is, is just people just having pity on us. They just look at us pitiful. Gives that no shots were heard in the area leading up to it hitting the boy. Meanwhile, this community is left processing how this could have ended in a much more tragic way. Bullets don't have no name. So when you shoot, you don't know who you done shot just to know that it could have been a child. That That's not true, though. A lot of people, when they shoot, they know who they shot. It's just some people that don't know who they shoot when they shoot. It's just and us. If you're, if you're shooting, you know, torso height, your bullet is not going super far because gravity will eventually cause it to drop and hit the ground. Unless you're shooting into the air wildly. 